you will be king. But the throne must pass to a male heir. Hakim, it appears you have a son. Oh man, we are learning some uh, some trivia here this week about the films that have been made here. The iconic sequel, Coming to America, was filmed around parts of Metro Atlanta during the summer and fall of 2019. The producers actually tapped Rick Ross to film at his estate in Fayetteville, and he was reportedly paid a sweet 2.75 million bucks. <laughs> That's all? That's it. That's all? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Assembly Atlanta, as you know, is still in its infancy stages, but there has been a lot of production here in our area the past few decades. Film and television aren't the only projects. There's also commercials, and then you have your documentaries as well. Director Bill Vanderkloot has won over 100 international film and television awards. Yep, I'm telling all the people what yeah. you've done. <laughs> um, and he is actually the founding director of the Atlanta Film Festival. We're so glad to have you on Wake Up Atlanta this oh, morning. Glad to be here. Thanks. So I've got to know, you're a pretty important man. You have a, a pretty impressive resume, and he, he doesn't like me doing all this, but I have got to you know, <laughs> uh, give you your credit due because you definitely are deserving. How long have you been directing films now? Well, so I started my company here in 76. Okay. So it's close to 45 years. Nice. So your film, they tell me, helped secure the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. Well, it was a small part of the, uh, the overall effort. The real, the real credit goes to Billy Payne and Andrew Young who were the best salesmen Atlanta ever had. And, and, and why do you think that was so important to you? Like, what does that mean to you? Oh, it, means, it means a tremendous amount because what was great about it is, you know, we filmed it in 88 and 89. Mm -hmm. And, and we, when we'd be filming, people would say, what is this for? We say, with the Olympics. And some people would roll their eyes, and mo but most people would say, oh, that's great. We <laughs> ought to have the Olympics. And now if, when I travel internationally, that's the first thing people say when you say you're from Atlanta, wow. is the Olympics. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Now, what are some of the benefits of filming here? Because it seems like so many people, they have an idea, then they come to Metro Atlanta, and they're like, I want to film my movie here. Well, I, I think, you know, you can look at all the business case. The uh, film tax incentive has changed, has been a sea change for us. Um, but you have such a great diversity of creative cast and crew here. You have a diversity of locations. But I think one of the things that Atlanta has that it had way before the film tax incentives is the passion for filmmaking. And that you can feel it everywhere. Uh, the, the crews are just really dedicated and I, uh, I think they're the best at anywhere. Now you've obviously been a part of a lot of projects here in the Atlanta area, but what has been your favorite one that you've, you've directed and worked on? Well, it, it, I really like to say that my favorite one is the one I'm working on now. Mm -hmm. But I think, um, I think some some of the films I, I really have most uh, have been most meaningful are the work I've done for the Carter Center. Uh, we've did a n number, dozens of films for the Carter Center over the years, documenting their really important work, and and th that's the most satisfying, I think. Now look at that. That's you right there on screen, right there. You know, really in action, <laughs> doing what you do and doing it very well. Talk about the changing landscape of movie making in our area. You've been doing this since the 70s, mm -hmm. so you've probably mm -hmm. seen a lot of changes between then and now here we are in 2022. Oh, it's like night and day. Uh, when the film tax incentive uh, was first passed, you had a handful of studios in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You had a, a fairly dedicated but very small in industry relatively to everyone else. Now, look behind us, I mean, there are probably more stages behind us than there were in the entire city uh, back before the film tax incentive. And, uh, and now when you look at American Cinematographer and you, and you see all these ads, they used to say, we have offices in New York, Atlanta, London. I mean, uh, New York, uh, LA, London. Now it, Atlanta is Atlanta's up there. Be there. Yep. And, and, and as someone who's been in this area and someone who's been doing it for quite some time, I mean, when you see uh, a, a development like the one that is behind us, what comes to mind just about where Atlanta is going in the industry? Atlanta's going straight up. It's like a rocket ship. And, and the, the amount of creative jobs it's creating, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be phenomenal. I mean, Atlanta's going to be a creative capital yeah. if it isn't already. And Bill, you kind of hinted a little earlier that one of your favorite projects is what you're working on. Now I have to know what's next for you. Well, I'm, I'm in post-production on a documentary that'll be on PBS maybe next year 
um, but it'll air. It's about the Warren, uh, history of the Warren Commission, the investigating the assassination of President Kennedy. Wow! And it'll be uh, it'll be premiered at the Atlanta History Center on October fifth. All right. Well, congratulations well, to you. Well, thank you. We know you're working on some great stuff, and I know that won't be the last thing you're working on either. I, no, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Bill. We appreciate you being here on Wake Up Atlanta, and for renderings of Assembly Atlanta. Of, 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 of course, more information about everything that we've been able to discuss just now. We're going to have a link posted for you on CBS46.com. Gravier.